The TCU Horn Frogs are at odds of plus 800 to win the 2016 College Football National Championship, and they are at odds of plus 200 to win the Big 12 Conference Championship. Last season saw TCU go 12-1 straight up, 11-2 against the spread, and 8-5 on the over-under. The Horn Frogs have been under the guidance of head coach Gary Patterson for the entire 21st century, and the expectation for this season is to get their first NCAA title. One problem the Frogs will face is the fact that the Big 12 is simply a weaker conference than it has been in recent years, and it might take an undefeated season to put them in the second ever BCS playoffs. Ten returning starters on offense, which include nine seniors, will be led by quarterback Trayvon Boykin, who has amassed 7,153 passing yards and 1,437 yards on the ground in his three seasons. And let's not leave out his 28 receptions for another 257 career yards. TCU ranked second in the nation in scoring last season, averaging 46.5 yards per contest, while having the fifth best total offense in the NCAA, putting up 533 yards a game. Trayvon Boykin has had his name attached to a possible Heisman Trophy in his final season in Fort Worth, and TCU relies heavily on his experience and leadership in running the newly installed Air Raid offense. Boykin set eight school records in his first full season at the team's starting quarterback last year, and he has all of the skill position players returning, as well as four starting linemen who have 74 starts as a unit. Senior running back Aaron Green put up 922 yards on the ground last season, despite not getting his first start until November, while also adding 19 receptions that saw him find the end zone 11 times in 2014. Boykin will have six of his top receivers back from last year's squad, four of which enter their final season with TCU. Josh Doxson led the team in receptions, yards, and touchdowns with 65 grabs, 1,018 yards, and 11 scores. The defense is not as experienced as the offense, with only five starters returning from a season ago. But Gary Patterson usually excels in rebuilding his defenses over the years. Co-coordinators DeMonte Cross and Chad Glasgow have the benefit of having 13 upperclassmen in their two deep roster, so they are not completely starting over. The front four has to replace the left side, with James McFarlane and Aaron Curry likely to start at the left end in left tackle this season. The right side is set with two returning starters, Davion Patterson and Terrell Lathan, and Patterson returns as the defensive team captain after starting all 13 games in 2014. It might take a perfect season to put any team from the weaker Big 12 in contention for the BCS playoffs, but TCU has the goods to pull it off despite some questions on the defensive side of the ball. The offense should be able to atone for any substantial cracks, and Trayvon Boykin will certainly be in the Heisman Trophy discussion this season. The only thing that separated TCU from a perfect season last year was a field goal loss to Baylor in a 61-58 offensive shootout, and this year's Bears will have to travel to TCU for the final game of the year. For our pick and prediction, TCU is the most likely candidate to come out of the Big 12, and at plus 200, the Frogs are a pretty good bet to make. An undefeated season might be a little much to ask, but there will be a big bowl game to finish the season, even if TCU does not find themselves in the BCS playoff scenario. For our TCU Horn Frogs betting predictions, check out the Bang the Book Betting Center. And don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sports books.